If a business operates across multiple websites with different domains and those websites are a part of the same user journey, you have to do some additional configuration in Google Analytics. And in this video, I will show you how to configure cross-domain tracking in Google Analytics 4. Hey, my name is Julius and welcome to Analytics Mania YouTube channel, where you can learn Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics. And if you want to stay up to date with Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing. Before we jump into the configuration of the cross-domain tracking, there's a very important thing you should know. If your business operates on multiple websites, but they are using the subdomains of the same domain, that is not cross-domain tracking. Google Analytics 4 handles that automatically. Cross-domain tracking involves only completely different domains. All right, so since we got this clear, let's jump into the actual configuration. First, I want to quickly explain the problem that cross-domain tracking solves. Let's say that my business owns two websites that have different domains. The first one is gtmcourse.myshopify.com and the second one is analyticsmania.com. Now let's say that I have a visitor who landed on the first website and Google Analytics automatically stored a cookie on that visitor's browser. Now, somewhere on this myshopify.com website, there is a link that the visitor clicked and that visitor was redirected to my second page. I mean, second website. And this website is the part of the same user journey. On this website, Google Analytics is also activated, but since this is a different domain, the cookie value is also different. This is happening because Google Analytics on this domain cannot access the cookie that was stored on this domain. So even though the visitor is the same, Google Analytics treats this as a new different user. And this becomes a problem because instead of one user, your reports will now show two users. But thanks to cross-domain tracking configuration, it is possible to solve this problem. So here's how cross-domain tracking will work in a nutshell. A visitor lands on the first website and on this website, some cookie is stored. Then when a visitor clicks the link on this page that redirects to this website, the URL will be automatically decorated with some cookie information. And then on this website, Google Analytics will take that information from the URL and will automatically update the cookie. As a result, the same visitor on both websites will have the same value of the cookie. Obviously, these cookie values are just dummy fake data and in reality, they might look completely different. In order to properly configure cross-domain tracking, here are the things that you must complete. First of all, all websites must use the same Google Analytics property. So this means that website A and website B must be using the same Google Analytics 4 property. Then the next thing is to configure cross-domain tracking in the Google Analytics 4 interface. Now, if you're familiar with the cross-domain tracking in Universal Analytics, you also might be thinking to configure the referral exclusion list. However, this is not needed in GA4 because Google Analytics 4 handles self-referrals automatically if those domains are configured in cross-domain tracking setup. So let's go to Google Analytics, click Admin, then choose Data Streams, choose your website's data stream, and then click More Tagging Settings. Here you should click configure your domains. Now click on this pencil icon and then add condition. The first condition could be for the, my first website, which is gtmcoursemyshopify.com. And then the next condition could be for analyticsmania.com. So when I enter a domain like this, this will cover www.analyticsmania.com, then let's say blog at analyticsmania.com and all the other subdomains that belong to this domain right here. If you want, you can write even more complex conditions by using regular expressions. Now click Save. And then let's test the setup. So here I have the website on gtmcourse.myshopify.com. And on this website, I already have Google Tag Manager installed. And within my GTM container, I have GA4 configuration tag. So here I can just refresh once again, just to be sure that everything is fresh and new. And now on this domain, I click this link. Now I am redirected to my second page. And as you can see, the URL has been decorated with a bunch of different parameters. These parameters allow Google Analytics on this website get the cookie information that was available on this website. Therefore, the value of the Google Analytics cookie will be the same on both domains. In fact, we can check this. So I can go to More Tools, Developer Tools, then go to Application, then choose my domain. And now I am on my first website and then I will enter underscore GA. And here I will see that the value ends with 0374. Now, if I click on this link, go to the second website and check the cookie there, you will see that its value right here is the same and it ends with 0374. And also we can test this with the GA4 debug view. So to do that, we should again go to the first website and then 
you should install the Google Analytics debugger extension. I will post a link to that extension below the video. So to enable this extension, you should just click it and the page will reload. And eventually you should start seeing your device in the debug view of Google Analytics 4. However, it might take some time to appear here. Please ignore this event. This is just a test from my another experiment. And now, as you can see, we have one debug device. Now, if I go to this another domain and if cross domain tracking is configured properly, I should still be treated as that very same device. But if we see the second device, this means that cross domain tracking is working incorrectly, or in other words, you have done something incorrectly. So let me click this link. I'm now on the second domain. And by the way, if I click this page view, you will see that page location is first domain. And here's the second page view. And if I click it, you will see, first of all, that the device count is still one. And here the page location is the second domain. And also we have a parameter that was automatically added by GA4, which is ignore refer. So this was added here because we have configured both domains in the GA4 cross domain tracking settings. And because of this, Google Analytics 4 is capable of identifying self referrals and removing them from the reports. So what does it mean is that the first domain will not appear in the traffic acquisition reports right here. And that is how you should configure cross domain tracking in Google Analytics 4. If you have some experience with cross domain tracking in Universal Analytics, you will notice that in GA4, things are much easier. If you found this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video because it helps me continue working on this channel. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics 4, consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.